would see students initially coming in with kind of a chip on their shoulder like they didn't want to go to school. But what was really intriguing to them was the fact that they didn't have to carry a textbook. The attitude of students towards schoolwork was very traditional in that they thought that they could get a worksheet and turn the worksheet in and get the grade for it, which they find is not quite the case here. So yeah, basically what I'm doing. Project based learning is learning your criteria and working with others so that you can better your skills for the real world. Okay, good. All right. You set up a contract with a set in rules and guidelines, so it's kind of like your job basically. And you know, you, you learn how to communicate effectively so you can have a good finished product. Okay, well, well in that case, they have two teacher work. I mean, we can do that easily. If a student is interested in something, I'm going to do my best to incorporate that into class or find a way to make it so that in their project they can choose to focus on that topic. In a project, they will not only be graded on the content or the curriculum standards, they're also graded on things like written communication and critical thinking. The project that we're working on now is a project where you have to kill a person with an overdose of a natural chemical in the body and you have to figure out how you killed them and why. I'm actually really excited to learn because we get to do something new every day. You have different teaching methods. They actually work and it's like fun things. One of us actually gets to go out and stage a crime scene and be the person that was murdered and also get to do a newscast, like record like a TV show and then break out and be like breaking news and those sorts of things. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Reporting to you live from Anson New Technology High School. <laughs> Student success rates in understanding content have not only increased, but they've gotten much deeper. We currently have 85% of our graduating seniors accepted in the post-secondary level with four students to go, and our goal is we have 100% of our students selected into college as well. More coming later at 12.